Life is a stage. We all have our roles to perform. Some reach millions, others reach only one. But it's not the size of the audience, but the size of the heart. One little girl is about to see her dream come true, to meet her hero, and maybe become his. The stage is set as we take you to the heart of her story. She is happy and she loves music. Um, she plays the drums. She has a lot of friends. Um, she also has a genetic disorder called CDK13, which um, we have about 220 kids diagnosed worldwide. Um, and there's not a whole lot of research on it, but it does mimic autism. And so she has a lot of autistic-like behaviors. She has some sensory issues, um, language, cognitive issues, um, but she's, she's more than that. She's bigger than that. Um, that's just part of who, what makes her who she is and what makes her special. She has a way of captivating people and they, it's it's nice to see her through other people's eyes sometimes because they see all the charm and the love and the joy that she has. And sometimes we see more of the teenage stuff. That love and joy was about to reach a whole new level. She was captivated by a legend in country music. My husband turned on a, I don't know, he was flipping through the channels one night on cable and Toby was doing a concert, it was televised and she had never heard him before. And all of a sudden her head popped up and she sat mesmerized. Um, and then she started looking for him on her iPad and on her phone and listening to his songs. And the next thing we knew, she was going to school singing Red Solo Cup. And it was, it was just almost a love at first sight for her. So she talked about Toby and his music nonstop. The search was on to find a way to see him perform in person. But because of her sensory challenges, a live concert was going to be hard. They reached out to venues in Kansas and in Iowa. In Iowa, it was the Mississippi Valley Fair. And that's when things started to rock and roll. Just could we buy tickets that have seats so that she had a defined space? Safe. And that it was safe for her. And she... um. I, I emailed him. I never heard back from anybody in Kansas. And I just kind of, I actually forgot about it. That is when Fair General Manager Sean Loader and Office Manager Vicki Spaeth made the call. We didn't really know what that would entail, but we, I started talking back and forth with Vicki. And um, so we, we planned it. We kept it a secret for about five months from her because again, she perseverates. So she would have just kept it going. And we picked her up from camp one day and said, um, guess where we're going tonight? And she said, where? And I said, we're driving to Iowa and we're going to see Toby Keith. And she fell on the ground crying and was so excited. And we got in the car and off we went. <laughs> but more surprises were waiting. We didn't know what to expect. And I just said, can you be back here by seven o'clock? And I said, we better get here earlier because we've got to find a bike parking place. I said, no, you're going to park right here in front of the office. So we did. And I said, well, how long a walk is it to go over? We're going to go to the seating. I said, walking? We're not walking. So off we go in our golf carts and we're heading down toward the gates. And there's his five tractor trailers. And there's all these armed sheriffs and and I'm like, we're going through the gates and there's a hospitality tent. It was just, it was like peeling back an onion. It just got better and better and better. And uh, it was, for the whole family, it was amazing, but it was truly amazing for Shannon. Then, on the side of the stage, as her new hero suddenly appeared. He's larger than life. I mean, physically, he's large. <laughs> and 
and you know his stardom he's large and so it was really surreal um but for her it wasn't because she doesn't she i mean in her mind i love toby keith i'm at his concert why wouldn't i want why wouldn't i be standing here with him and he signed her guitar and um you know talked to her for a minute and 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 truly we thought that was the end of it like it that was as good as it could get but yeah it's about to get even better the family met him and then a moment that no one could have expected we were standing on the side stage to <laughs> to watch the show um vicky had asked us if if that was where we wanted to be and of course we were like yeah i mean who <laughs> else you'd never get the opportunity no. to do something like that so um she wanted to put her guitar on and i was absolutely not are you putting no because if you break something in this area i can't afford to replace it um and his guitar tech was said let her put it on it's not gonna hurt anything no. so she was standing there strumming and he was across the stage and he looked over and he saw her and his his eyes kind of got big and he got a big grin on his face and he came over and gave her a guitar pick and you know, we thought, okay, now this is as good as, it's, as it gets, right here. He walked over to her, and the next thing we know, he was doing um, a little less talk, and he walked over and put his arm around her, and she just went right out with him, never looked back. It was breathtaking. I mean, it just, I, I was so... I mean, when he walked over to hand her the guitar pick and he stopped in the middle of a song and the band just kept playing. He came over and he was telling her, use this guitar pick, this is better. And he walked back and I thought, well, it can't get better than that. But then when he walked back and he put his arm around her, he looked at Amy and he basically said, let's go, darling. And off they went and no one could believe it. No one around us could believe it. On her own riser, she could perform right along with him. I don't. I didn't. I really didn't know what to do. I just stood there in, in total amazement. And her younger, her older sister was holding on to me, just crying her eyes out, so happy for her. Um, and some blonde woman jumped on me and hugged the stuffing out of me. I didn't even know who she was, but <laughs> you know, she was just saying, "That's so wonderful." And I said, "I know. It's great." But the story doesn't end there. In fact, it was just getting started. Reality was waiting as I got back home more trips to the children's hospital, brain and spine MRIs. But this time, she would not be facing them alone. You see, Toby's head of security, Jason, and drummer, Dave, were now her close friends. Jason knew that the MRI had her scared, so even though he couldn't be there in person, he stayed with her on FaceTime. I finally, I said to Jason, it had been about 15 minutes, and I said, you know, you have a family at home, you have other things to do, we will find another way to um, to distract her. And he said, absolutely not, I'm here until the end. And he stayed on the phone with her, it was about, it was about an hour yeah. um, until they got that IV in and then he checked in on her that evening to make sure she was okay and was, you know, I want to tell me the results as soon as you get them. Acts of kindness from strangers that are now lifelong friends. Is he your best friend because he likes you and talks to you and is interested in you? Yes. And cares about and you. And cares about you. She loves them, so they love her back. And they they allow her to, to love them. And it takes a special person to, you know, to let someone into your life that they don't know us. Yeah. Well, Jason never gets off with her without saying, I love you. Yeah. In his big Alabama voice. <laughs> so now with Toby facing medical issues of his own, they are here to give him some love, hope, and prayers. For the man who was once a musician on stage with his band, who are now all so much more. Hi, we're the O'Grady's. And we wanted to sit down this evening and take a minute to talk about someone that has made a very, very big difference in our family in the last four years. And I'm talking about Toby Keith. I'm not talking about Toby as 
a musician that we're big fans of, we are. I'm talking about a man who's made a huge difference in our lives, who's been such a great influence on our daughter and, and us. Someone who is so kind and does so much for other people, and I don't know if he understands how much he's appreciated. And it's not just Toby, it's it's his band members and his, his people. And we care so much for all of them and consider them friends. So we'd like to let him know, we want him to do the best he can, fight the good fight. We know he's gonna come through this. And as they say in Ireland, to have God hold him in the palm of his hand. Get well, Toby. We hope it, I, I hope it gets better. And we, we love you. And I hope, we hope we'll see you next year, okay? Feel better. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. If you like inspiring stories just like this, check out our YouTube channel, Gary Mativier, for more. Add the Heart of the Story with Gary Mativier podcast.